Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, we are in Baxter, Tennessee. We stopped at this Love's last night. And uh, we got lucky. There was one place <laughs> that legally I could park that was actually, ha you know, had, had, had the actual lines and everything. So I, the driver jumped out and he said, everybody been trying to get that spot. He says, good luck. Took me two little tries, but we got her in there and he came back out and said, well, good job. Other drivers attempted and they couldn't take it or couldn't get into it. So it just takes a lot of patience. I got out of my truck. I had to get out and look. In 300 feet, turn right on Gainesville Highway, TX 56. Just took a little bit of patience and we got the job done. We got her in there. Then I went in, got me a shower. And it was kind of funny because she says, Are you sure you want a shower? The line is long. It's like, uh, Are you asking me not to take a shower? I should go back to my truck and should I stink? I don't want to. I don't care. If I gotta wait an hour, I gotta wait an hour. Take the entrance to the left on I-40 East. So if I gotta wait an hour, I'll wait. I have no problem with that. So we waited patiently. We got a little bit to bite to eat while we were waiting for that shower. In 600 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-40 East. Boy, she is just talking, talking, talking. Every time I open my mouth, she's opening up her mouth. She's going to say something again. Well, I could have probably made my turn before that car got up here, but no need to have to try to rush a turn, right? But anyway, by the time we got our shower and we ate, we got back out to the truck. It was, well, the electronic log said I spent a little over two hours in there. Oh, we went to bed kind of we got us a nice eight hour sleep well I think pretty close to eight hours but I feel pretty good now it ain't raining it's a little overcast but it's not raining and I got 79 degrees What is that? Wildlife, that's a game warden. He sure dog in the back of my trailer there. He couldn't wait till I got by him. Or couldn't wait till he got up here on the road. He tried to push me a little bit. Anyway guys, see what I can show you today. Let's have ourselves a good day. We will be going through the Smoky Mountains today. And I got the camera on uh, wide, wide view, so hopefully you guys can see a little bit, and hopefully the bugs don't get in the way of the view. We got to be at our delivery between three and nine. Rhonda says we'll be there at five thirty-four Eastern time. Had it be 434 logbook time, my central time. I'm on a central time zone with my logbook being I'm out in, well, even though the yard is out of Yankton, we have a yard down in Nebraska, so. But they're both on uh, central time. Hey, maybe we can get through a day today without any rain. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. That would be, that would be perfect. Oh, it rained coming through Nashville. Oh, boy, did it rain. Oh, my goodness. People for having their four ways on, pulling over on the edge of the interstate. It was a mess. Well, we only got 390 miles to go, so let's get her down the road, y'all. And thank you for riding with the Trucker Jukebox. Oh yeah. Well, we are fixing to come into Knoxville. Yeah, we just we just got into the spot there where it's 55 for trucks. I can never understand why 
they say because economy or not economy but fuel pollution something like that uh, around the Knoxville area of course it's a pretty white uh, uh, area you got to get all the way past the 81 and 40 split and then go beyond that before it goes back to 70 miles an hour Chattanooga Knoxville well, if you guys ever notice, especially you drivers that go through uh, Nashville, they've never knocked that speed limit down to 55 for trucks in, in Nashville. It kind of makes you wonder why. I mean, that's the main, that's the capital. That's the main, that's one of the biggest main towns, cities in Tennessee. But this is where they got the split speed limit. 65 for cars, 55 for trucks. And it's hard to do 55, it really is. For me it is. Because if I do 55, everybody goes around me. Including the trucks. Everybody goes around me. Then I become... I'm, I'm more of a hazard. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at myself or somebody hitting me because I'm not going with the flow of traffic. I always say going with the flow of traffic is is safe. It's safer and then the split splits uh, speed limits. And that argument came aboard or about there in Ohio about the split speed limits. OOIDA. And if you notice they don't have the split speed limit. I only found one place in Ohio that still has it and that's that Oh, there's a road that might be part of Ford, but comes out of Dayton and kind of cuts across back over to 70. It's the only road in Ohio that I found that still had the uh, 55 for trucks, 65 for automobiles, for cars. But it is hard to do 55 when everybody else is speeding, you know. The cars aren't so much speeding, and, and they probably are. It's 65 for cars, so they're probably doing 68, 70. But then you get the trucks. They're supposed to be down to 55, but yet they, they're speeding. I think it's just a bunch of maharky myself. I, I wish they would do away with that 55. That's just, to me, that's... My opinion, I think that's just nonsense. Actually, it makes a truck burn a little bit more fuel because you got the hills. So it takes more acceleration and then I'm dropping gears because I'm heavy, right? And I have to climb a hill. To me, that uses more fuel than if I can do 65 because I may not drop that gear. By the time I hit the top, I may be doing 55. But I'm not dropping a gear. I do believe it turns into a three. Now right up here is the split. The 75. And the 40 split. 75 going south. Going to toward uh, Chattanooga. I could have probably had enough hours last night. To get to Knoxville. I can get to the Petro or the Flying J, but I know better. It was dark. Or getting close to dark. I don't remember if it was actually dark yet, but I know it was getting later in the evening. So I, I pretty much knew better. I weren't going to park at the Petro or the Flying J. You got two interstates there. You got 40 and 75 coming together, so that kind of doubles the traffic, right? I got lucky at that Loves last night. I just took a chance. I kind of figured I was going to go in there and find no place to park and have to leave and go somewhere else. But I had a, I had plenty of hours to do that with. But surprisingly, I did find that one parking spot. And that was cool. I woke up. I was able to have a good cup of coffee. Got me a shower last night before I went to bed.
Knoxville, Tennessee. We'll stay on 40 all the way. We got a chicken coop right up here too. I don't know if they're open or not, but we do have a chicken coop up here. One mile. Hour. Pretty big chicken coop too. I think they got an inspection barn. They got, I don't know, it looked like like a radiation thing that, or an X-ray thing. I don't know what that thing is, but but you can't. They gotta go buy it. Bypass when ramp is full. Then you got to prove that it was full, <laughs> or they'll come out and get you for passing the uh, the coop. They're open. I, I kind of figured they would be. Watch this truck. He knew that chicken coop was there. You better take it, buddy, if you got to go in there. Watch him. Watch him. He's going to pass it. Check him out. I'm slamming on my brakes now to keep him from passing. I don't think he... I wonder what his, uh, I don't think he got pre -pass. Think he's going to get in trouble? He might. He was going to have to go in. He just passed it right up. You can't say I kept him from doing it. They probably won't even come out and get him. Then again, they might. But there's so many trucks, how would they know? You know. Ah, he's looking at a truck right now. She's looking at a truck right now. Huh. Ooh, they got another one back there looking at a another truck. They're busy here. You guys saw that one truck, though? I gave him plenty of room. All he had to do was come over. He didn't do it, though. He kept on going. And they didn't come out to get him. Because they were busy. They were inspecting trucks, so... That's a gamble to take, though, because it's, it's big money if you pass a scale. Downtown now. Downtown Knoxville. Everybody's got to slow down to 55 now. I see brake lights up there, though. Hope we're not going to have to stop. Forty East Asheville, that's the direction we're going. Continue on this road for five miles. Uh, 
I'll tell you the truth, I don't know why we're doing 48. I think it's 55 through here. Now we're doing 55. AT&T. Yeah, I got a couple of subscribers that live in this town, but they tell me to let them know if I'm coming through, but you know when you're under under a load and you're kind of under the gun, I mean we got time to stop and stretch and take the dogs out and stuff like that, but Of course, I like to bump into anybody I can, but it is Thursday. It's still a work day, so a lot of them are working. I, now, if it's the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, I'll do my best to let people know for sure because usually people aren't, even the local drivers, they're not really working on the weekend. They might be. I'm not saying they're not, but... Well, we made it through Knoxville. I know I'm knocking on wood, but so far without any backups or anything. Good job, Knoxville. I'll definitely give you a big thumbs up today. Make good time coming through. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's cloudy and I think it's gonna snow And I'm dreading that old mountain I gotta climb But I feel so low and blue All I do is think of you And I'm wondering when I'm gone Are you still mine? It breaks my heart to think you're with another And each night I'm not with you is misery I feel so low and blue And each day I cry Oh, shoot. Well, we're fixing to get on 26 here. And we finally, <laughs> there's construction on this 26. And uh, see the, the, the two lanes to our left, that's Interstate 40. This is the ramp here for uh, 26. And I was actually watching cars stopping on the interstate because they were trying to cut in instead of going to the back of the line. They were trying to cut in. And I actually literally saw somebody almost get rear-ended. That is dangerous, guys. I, I mean, <laughs> that is just insane. Well, we're just down the road to our delivery. We're in Wadesboro, North Carolina. And we're looking for... J.J. Hines Company. What's the address? 2732. 732. I had to move over here because they got to make a lift. That's not it. But it might be that place. No. There it is right there. Yeah, we found it. Well, gotta find a place. Turn. I see how they got it now. Yeah. You can't just make a left and turn in. You gotta go up. You got these little, like a Michigan turn almost. In a quarter of a mile, make a U turn if possible, and then approach a destination. Yep. In 0 0.3 miles. This is the U turn. It's actually legal to do it. They even put the uh, pavement on the other side. Make a U turn if possible and then approach a destination. It's 0 0.3 miles. Well, in this case, they put gravel, but. But it's totally legal. Well, that wasn't paved, not at all. <coughs> Approaching destination in a quarter of a mile. On the right side. Thank you. 
arrived at your destination. 74 West Okay we gotta go through here. Shipping and receiving. Well, it's going up here. I was going to do something real quick, but we'll check in. I can still take them out behind these trailers here. Well, guys, we are in Wadesboro, North Carolina. <laughs> 